So this is an example of the table for the Laplace transform. So basically, this is the table we're going to use throughout these chapters. So first of all, I look at the number one. So this is the k. Actually, it does stand for when the f t equals k. Actually, the k is a constant. So Laplace transform for constant, you will get one over s or something like k over s. Let's say your t is one. So the same thing for number two. Number two here, this is the t power n. So it's a t. Let's say you have a t power two, power three, power four. So they are classified in number two here. So if, let's say this is the t power n. It stands for the power. So if, let's say it's power two. Then this is a two factorial over s two plus one. So this means a uh, s power three. So the same thing goes for number three. So the number three here. So this is the exponent a t. So a t a t. So a is the coefficient for the exponent. If, let's say your a is two. So this means you just take a equals two, then you just put it in. The same thing goes for later for the sin and cos. So sin you can maybe you can sometimes it can be sin two t, sin three t, or whatever. So as long as you identify what is the value for a, so based on the sin or cos, then it's very easy to do the to find the Laplace transform according to the form. So I will show you the example later, one by one, very details about that. So the same thing goes for let's say you have the sin hyperbolic, cos hyperbolic, the same things. Only the difference here is the number eight, number nine, number ten, and eleven. So basically, the eight until eleven is the properties, from the first shifting, derivative, and unit step function and second step functions. So the last one, twelve actually is denoted as the uh, Laplace transform for the derivative. Okay, now, so let's say I take the example here. Let's say you want to do the Laplace transform for uh, 2, let's say. So 2 is a constant, actually this is the k, so you just refer to the tables. So this means Laplace transform for 2, you will get 2 over s. Okay, so this is very simple example, so this is about the Laplace transform for uh, t equals to 2. So the next example I can take, let's say, f my ft equals to t power 3 so that's mean that plus one so on for t power 3 is equals to so look at here so your this is t power 3 that's mean this is the n so just refer to the table that you have in the books so n power 3 so that's mean so the law plus one so on basically is equals to uh, so this is a 3 factorial over s3 plus 1 so just look back at the table so it's a 3 factorial over s power n plus 1 so n is equal to 3 over here this one so this means n plus 1 so I just simplify this one so this is the s power 4 so what is that mean for the x this is uh, what is this means right so actually 3 factorial actually is denoted as something like so what we say here is something like 3 factorial actually is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 so that is the factorial means so so this means that this is my job uh, my answer is 6 so it's very simple okay so the next, I go to show you how to get the uh, Laplace transform. Let's say you have the sin uh, 4t. So just look back on the table that you have just now. So this is the table. So this is the table for sin. So this is the sin a t or something. So we go back to here. So we identify what is my a here. So this is my a. a equals to 4. So now, my Laplace transform for sine 4t it will equals to so it's a a over s squared plus a squared, right? So this means this is my a is 4 over s squared plus a squared. So a squared a is 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So this is my answer. So the same thing goes for, let's say you have the function, let's say gt equals to 
cos cos 4d okay for easy so laplace transform for cos 4t so t so this is a 40 that's mean this is my a so just look back on the Laplace transform table so this is what you will have is something like s over s squared plus 16 so it's very simple so you can just look back okay so this is a Laplace transform for cos so this is something you have here So to challenge a bit, so I can just do uh, do something different question here. So if let's say I will I will have something like um, cos square root of three t. So what happened actually? So first of all, same thing. You get to know what is your a here. So this is the a equals to set three. So look. Uh, look back the, again. This is the cos Laplace transform. The cos Laplace transform form is a s. So s uh, s over s square plus two uh, a square. So that means this is equals to the Laplace transform. You will get something like this. So it's still the s squ squ uh, square plus so this is a a, uh, a is a third three so that's when if let's say a square that you get for three so that is your answer so it's very simple so just look on the table so just refer to the table so what kind of the form on the fd and then what kind of the form of your laplace answer on the right hand side so it's very simple so you can just take a look on this uh, example